After investigating if a cup with a lid and without a lid loses water, and because we saw matter lost in both of these cups, and because they both weren't fully sealed, matter could get in and it could get out. We call this an open system. What's the opposite of an open system? A closed system. So an open system is where matter can get in and get out. Some say that the water is evaporating out of our cup through the holes in the cup. What is happening with the water when the water goes in the air from the bottom of the cup? How could we represent this? Well, in front of us now, we have a model that we're starting to see if we can find a way to represent when the water goes into the air. What is happening to the liquid water that can explain why the mass of the cup system decreases over time? Pause the video, draw your initial model, then take a photo and add it to your molecule evaporation model doc. This will be your initial or starting model. Now make a prediction. If we left this system out in the room overnight, do you think the system would have the same amount of water in it tomorrow as it does right now? What about a week later? What about a month later? And why do you think that? What do you think might happen if we left a container of room temperature water with no lid on it sitting out for 66 days? The next video that we're going to see is a time-lapse video of this very thing over 66 days of time. We're going to watch this so that we can analyze it and determine whether our predictions are correct. Unlike the last video of liquid water at room temperature, this next video is of a cup with hotter water in it. And this one is in slow motion, just over a few seconds of time. What is happening to the water in this video? Where is the water going? And why can't we see the water leaving the container in the first video? Let's pause this video and discuss these questions and the specific questions in your doc, and please type your answers there. It seems valuable to develop a model of the process of matter moving from a solid to a gas. We need to explain why the mass of the system decreases 
and why the level of the water drops over time. So let's establish a way to think about some really small pieces of water that are really too small for our, our eyes to see. When we talk about really small pieces of matter, when they're really too small for us to see, we use some different words to describe them. Sometimes we call them particles. Sometimes we call them atoms. Sometimes we might call them a molecule. So if we're talking about the very smallest piece of matter, the smallest unit of matter, we would talk about it as an atom. But sometimes we talk about it in general as a particle. A small chunk or a small piece is a particle. And sometimes we refer to a group of these smallest little pieces as a molecule. We'll look at this word molecule and the meaning of it a little bit more later. But for now, we'll use this word molecule to refer to the tiniest pieces of water. So we're going to use a blue chip here to represent one of these molecules of water. We're going to take this molecule and create a key that shows us what it means. So the blue chips are going to equal a water molecule. Now why do we create a key? So that we know what this blue chip or this blue circle might represent. Now how could we use this blue chip to show the mass in the system and the level of water as the water slowly starts to drop over time like in our last video. How would you show where the matter is going? So let's take a whole bunch of blue chips. If we were to spread these blue chips out at the bottom of our cup, like water, representing the water in the bottom part of the cup, we might have something that would look like this. Each blue chip is one of the smallest pieces of water, or molecules, of water. The process where these blue chips of water slowly change from a liquid at the bottom of your cup to a gas or a single molecule of water that leaves the surface one at a time is called evaporation. So this idea of evaporation or one little molecule at a time from the surface moving up into the gas or the air around it is what we're going to try to represent with this model. We also have some yellow chips. These yellow chips will represent air or any other type of substance that is in the gas. If we don't have blue chips or yellow chips, we'll just let an empty circle instead of a filled in circle represent the air or the gas that is not made out of water. How can we use these chips to show why the mass of the system and the level of water start slowly dropping over time? Well, if we were to take one molecule of water and it floats up into the air and another 
molecule of water and it floats up into the air and another molecule of water and it floats up into the air and another molecule of water we are seeing how water that was a liquid moves into a gas into the air around it. Now draw this model, take a photo of it, and add it to your doc. And then turn to the rest of the questions in the doc and answer all the final questions.